everybody, it's BeardboyOG here, and welcome back to another episode of Better Minecraft. In the last episode, we went on a ore and resource mining adventure. Turned out pretty successfully for us. Now we're fully diamond up. We have some diamond tools, as well as resources to start on today's episode. Today, we are working on the starter base. To do that, we're going to need to tear this little guy down. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to go get some wood down there. That way we can actually get this done. That way we can get the frame made. Cause it turns out I have no wood. Hey, no bean sus. Okay, so I have an initial frame up. What I'm gonna do now is go one in. So the wall will be its own square of one in. So I have 14 by 14 uh, between each of these logs. So we're gonna do an inner one as well with tough and cobblestone. Which I think the darker one should be on bottom, this. And then I can include a little bit of this going around as well and then like every few of them so like maybe this just add a little bit of a gradient into here as we're going Now I'm going to add the second layer now that I got this and I think I want to do birch wood or regular oak wood. I think oak wood's going to look just a little better. Yeah, something like this and I think what I'll do as well is bring that birch in and just add a little couple of splotches every now and then. That way it gives a little bit more of a gradient, kind of like what I'm doing here with the bottom one. So I brought these pillars up by one and on each. Okay, I didn't know that was in this mod pack. On each one of these, I'm gonna add a slab just going on the top there, just to make it a little bit uh, capped off. I kind of like the look of like pillars when they have a little cap, you know, it looks like it's actually complete. So we'll do that. And then what I'm gonna do now is bring this in by one, basically. We're gonna make a second story, basically similar to this, uh, outside of like the bottom here. And we're gonna bring it in by one going up i might add this i'm gonna see Alrighty, now that i have a second one now i'm gonna go up one more time because i if we have so much room on this build that i think i can i'm gonna try these blocks out so we're gonna try this it kind of has like a little roofing uh tile look so we're gonna see how this goes okay i'm gonna also add deep slate and see how this goes because i don't really have enough enough of this but it could be like a good beginning portion of the roof uh if it doesn't look good i will remove it so we'll see how this goes now that i got this situated i'm gonna put a little bit of a railing around these wood logs just add a little bit more detail and uh after that we can go look from afar and see how this is going Okay, it is coming together pretty well actually I like these as an outer edge for the roof and then having these going across for the railing actually looks really nice as well 
Now, I really gotta do is work on the door here, as well as get sand for glass. Okay, folks, it is floor time, where I'm gonna get rid of all this and try to put a floor in. I'm gonna use the asphalt here, because this might be do pretty good, because this is gonna be more of the storage workstation, uh, this is gonna be more of the workstation storage area, maybe having workstations here in the middle and then chests here and as we go up we'll be living in situations in like an attic so it's time to get this started so i think i have an idea that might look really good and that is having the asphalt on the outer rim and then the inners being calcite yes this is pretty expensive but we do at least i think i remember where that cave is so theoretically this is not too expensive for us at the moment and if we need to go like one more in I also have some diorite so besides the stuff off the floor this is looking pretty good the asphalt and the calcite do pretty good to kind of give a good little impression I was gonna do blue light on the next section but I'm actually not liking it so what I'll do is that I'll switch to diorite because I do have a stack of that and uh, we'll see how this looks. Alrighty, folks. So, as I showed you last time, this was done. Now we have stairs going up here. Because I was thinking of doing stairs in here, but I'm like, that's going to look a little tacky a little bit. Because I want this to be walls filled with chests. And then workbenches going here. So you don't really have the room. So I thought, okay, how about we just add a staircase here? Which will lead right to here. So... We'll put some doors here, and then we'll have like a ladder going up to there, which... Alrighty, so up here could be like a little storage attic area. Basically like some barrels and all that here. This will be basically the living quarters. And we can have like little bulletin things sitting on the back here. And then as you head downstairs, you have the work area. Which we're going to need to fill. <laughs> I still need to get more stuff over here. I need more wood. Which means I need to make more of these guys. But before we do that, let's check on the coal. The glass. Whatever it's called. Pretty good. Now we can make those glass panes. Alrighty, look at that. We got glass in the windows. We got doors. I kind of want to have dark oak. I just don't have any dark oak over here. So we're going to have to either find any in chests or find a dark oak for us. We have it there, which looks really good. I do want to add it upstairs, though. But now I want to get a bunch of wood for some chests and basically internal stuff so we can start designing the inside. While I'm out here, I'm actually going to grab some of these as well. These are really great looking flowers that I think we can just keep her growing at the base if we want. So it'll be cool to have these over at home. Okay, we have returned, and I have an absolute bunch of wood that we can turn into chests here, which... So this is kind of what I'm going for. We'll have little wood pillars in the corners, and then the chests going across both sides here. Just like so. Where are you? You get away. So I need to go get more materials from that cave. Because I want to make some of these workbenches, which require some stuff that we don't currently have on us. Some of these I won't make, like the alchemist. We can make the alchemist. But some of these, like this, we need an enchanting table for. Which we're not there yet, we need more. But at bare minimum, we need redstone and we need iron. And also clay. Clay seems to be pretty important which we have the perfect spot if we just follow the death uh, t ticker there from the last episode we'll be able to find it okay first off we're gonna create be honest one so we need to make some pots really quick like that then we can go and just click here Okay, so we're missing slabs and sticks, which is pretty easy. Then bam, bam, 
And we have our first workstation, which we can put right here. I'd like to have all the workstations kind of in this general area. So there's this. So now we can go in the preview and we can do different things here, which this wouldn't count. Oh, it does. Okay, that's cool. So you can take stuff like moss or I would bet leaves and you can just start crafting stuff from that. Oh, that is really cool. So this one's pretty easy. For the alchemist table, all we need is glass and cobble deep slate. Which we have there, and then glass. <laughs> I just threw everything in the chest randomly. I'm gonna have to fix this. But for now, this works. So if we go to the alchemist, add, bam. I'm gonna assume this sits on the floor, so we're gonna need something to counteract that. So let's get a, a table, you know, because we're we are in the modds of the Minecraft. I think one that would look good for this. We'll do the birch. So we need some birch planks. There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Then bam, bam, and look at that. We have a little alchemy, which is basically just a brewing station, which is cool. So the mason. We need some regular wood. So now, if we go to Mason, blop, there we go. Then we can put this one right here. Oh, look at that. There's the loom, which all it needs really is wool and sticks. We we'll also need another crafting table. But we have some wool we can use. Bam, we have a loom. Which can go there. I might move this. <laughs> so the tinkering. So we need to make a piston. Now we need slime for that. I was going to say we need to go hunt for slime, but you don't have to do that when you have randomly just traversed the mod. Because you have some mobs like jellyfish, which make it so much easier for the tinkering. While we're waiting for creepers to spawn, we have a couple more stuff. So we have a woodcutter here. And then if I pull out some cobblestone, blast furnace one would be so easy to do right now, I think. If we just sacrifice this guy, and I can just replace it with a regular furnace. Bam, we have yet another. So this is going to have to move. So we can stick this one here. And then the alchemy table probably just get moved over here. And we're still missing some more. more. We're Waiting for those creepers to spawn. And now that that's done, we can get that out. We can stick stone cutter there. I think we don't really need the stone cutter at all. We have that there, but it's cool just having everything that we could possibly need. We also have stoves and stuff in this. So we need to make a campfire. And then bam. So for the stove area, because we have so much being blocked here. I think what we do, place the stove there. Because we can easily move the crafting tables to... We can move them here. That way, they're still usable. We have those a little higher, so it actually fills it a little better. And then, I think this mainly is just a fire source at this point. So we would need to make a pan of some sort. Which should be pretty easy, all things considered. What do we need for this? Four and one. And then we can put that there. Look at that. And then for the pot, we need a bucket of water and a sh wooden shovel. We can just put the pot there for now. It's not like we can really do anything with it with this here, unless we make another one of these, which. There. Now both can be on at the same time. That works. I think we have more of those tables, so we'll just do this. And then. Bam. And we can just set stuff in here. Perfect. Oop. Creepers are spawning. Okay, I got the gunpowder. Now I'm just running home, trying not to get killed. And to get to sleep so these guys die. Uh, and then we can make that... I think it's the glass floor or it's the masonry. And now we have the TNT, which means we can go to... I think it was the Tinker. So we have almost everything. We just need the piston. Then we can just add that like so. And now we have the tinkering table. Which... Where to put it? It's kind of like what we have here. I guess here would work. Okay, not that close. Now, 
With the tinkering, we can just throw... Let's try to see if I have something in this. I don't think I do. That would work with it, but... This one's more of a redstone. We have the grinder. We have the loom. Glass furnace. A flowering biologist. Not biologist, what is it? Bot botanist. I did not say that right. And then we have... A kitchen and stove area, which is pretty cool. And I think that's everything. Oh, we need an anvil, which I'd only be able to make one, so we can't do the anvil right now. But that is perfectly fine, because we have basically... Oh, I almost forgot one. So we need to... There. Now we have everything in our workstation down here, and it's looking pretty good. And while I'm in here, we can do some finishing touches to the room as well. Now that I have some leaves, I will keep a bed in here. Just in case when we're running in here, we need to sleep quickly. So we can put that there. And then I wanted to put leaves on here. Oh, I like that. Perfect. And then we can also replace all of those torches. So if we just F this over, go here, we can go and make some lanterns, which will come quite in handy for decorating and just finishing this entire place. So we can then move these out of here and place them on the sides. Just like so. And since we're not really gonna be here up here much outside of putting some attic related stuff here, I actually won't change the torches here. So folks, that's gonna be the end for episode three, which was pretty successful. We got this entire bottom room interiorly decorated and we have a lot of storage, a lot of workstations to work with for the future, as well as we have our entire starter base finished. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like because it helps the channel grow. Consider subscribing because subscribing makes me feel good. And consider commenting down below of what you think could be added to this base. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.